So guys, Tesla is adding a dynamic of visualizations of vehicles to the FSD beta and up in Canada as well as the US. You guys are going to get the first look at that. Now I'm going to explain a little bit more on what this means, but if you do have FSD beta and you update to the latest one, which is just the one before a version 11, you're going to see the visualization a little bit different than you saw previously. All right. So in the grand scheme of things, what this really means is that Tesla is adding visualization for exactly what the computer is thinking if you can recall back to the early days of fsd beta you see those green and purple boxes around the cars now what this equates to is that tesla is tracking the velocity the speed pretty much everything that the computer can do just to see how far a car is away from you but in the background they are capturing a bunch of other details as well there's puddles there's trees there's cars that are different length and sizes there are buses that are really high and some of them are very short there are trucks that are carrying trailers some that are carrying other loads and all that hasn't been represented very well in the visualization it doesn't give the driver that much of a confidence that the car can see exactly what the computer thinks now if we take a look at some of the screen grabs of visualizations that you see in the fsd beta cars you will see that some cars are just extremely long some that are stacked upon each other there are buses that look like they're just very stretched out cars and then there are trucks carrying trailer loads that look like it's just a double the car now of course us as humans we do approximate and guess a lot of things we don't really know how deep or how far a car really is by just looking at the front face of it but this has to work really well with AI as well and this is where FSD is working very well essentially it just guesses how long a car is just from looking straight on at it and I'm just taking a guess here but probably they factor in the brand the model and Tesla knows all about this in the background that they don't really tell us obviously they're not gonna put the badge of Ford or a Honda or Suzuki or something like that at the front and just guess according to that there's probably some kind of database going on in the background that we are not aware of but all this is represented by these gray cars alongside your own Tesla and those cars are to represent how big or how small a car is in a real life comparison to you now another bonus to this update here is that dogs humans and a lot of other objects around you have been changed up a little bit and represented a lot better you will see big dogs and small dogs you will see humans human that are taller, human that are shorter. There might be some additional changes like the cone sizes and the rock sizes and the sidewalks and whatnot, but those things haven't been noticed yet. Right now, all we're seeing is just cars, trucks, and buses, but probably Tesla is gonna be building up from this with this update here. And in the end, we're gonna see exactly what we're seeing and what the computer is thinking completely from one to one. So all in all, just to wrap this up, I think Tesla just didn't have a lot of time. They were focusing too much on the FSD beta code. They didn't even have enough time for the highway code of FSD beta. So this is very nice that they are finally adding this one-to-one -one representation on our UI. So if you guys do have FSD beta on your car, you're going to notice a couple changes when you drive into a parking lot or just driving along the highway or the freeway. You're going to see cars represented in their actual size, which is going to be very nice and gives you a boost of confidence. So there you have it. I'm going to leave it at this. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe, that bell notification. And while you're at it, drop me a comment below letting me know how you guys enjoyed this so far anyways this should be it for this video this is john once again peace out